Hi guys, good to have you all back. We are doing another experiment today. Yep, uh, I've been a little bit intrigued slash obsessed with transparency at the moment. Making lovely uh, windows in pockets, in journals, in pages, you name it. Um, so I've been experimenting a little bit with my printer with amazing results. Yes, I have a fantastic printer and I happen to have some overhead projector sheets found them in a thrift shop with amazing results. I'm going to show you a little bit later, but not all of you have my fantastic printer or these sheets. So I've been doing a little bit more research and what I want to do today, try to do because it's an experiment, never tried it before, to do some image transfer with tape, just regular tape. I have this, you know, what's it called cello. We, we call it cello tape. So from celluloid or whatever you, I don't know. I'm not scientific like this. I have some big tape. Also have some uh, medical tape, which is a little bit sort of cloudy, but I think that might give uh, another sort of fantastic result. So um, yes, I'm going to show you the supplies that I'm going to use, but keep in mind, this is an experiment. This might go horribly wrong. Yes, but you know, at least we're gonna have fun. Let me show you. So of course I'm using tape. I have this sort of roll of, you know, the normal tape, the transparent shiny one. Yes, it's shiny. Then this matte uh, medical tape and the big one, the big one. Yes, I'm not gonna take it off this device because I think it works best. Um, then for paper, I, I've taken out my scraps. Now these uh, have all sorts of paper. I don't think it will work very well on very new glossy paper. I'm going to try it, but I think it won't because actually what we need to do is sort of dissolve the paper and I think it will work best with old matte paper. So I have all my paper scraps in here. I'm going to try to use different ones, different ones. Also, um, no clue if this works, uh, probably will, um, napkins. Yes, I'm going to use napkins. Now, this is sort of you can already have napkins on a piece of paper, you know, uh, decoupage. But let's just try it. I don't know. Let's just try it. Then I'm going to need water. I have this small bowl here of water. Yes. I did put in a little bit of um, uh, dishwashing liquid because I think it will work better. But that's just my idea. If I remove uh, postage stamps from um, a piece of paper like and then i also use a little bit of water and the dishwashing liquid liquid so yeah uh scissors for cutting and and such yeah is that it yes uh, for making the transfers i probably hopefully i have time to make something with it to show you how i would use it yeah okay now um before i start I need to sort of thank all of you guys uh, um, who commented on yesterday's video, uh, who are all concerned for my health because apparently I put um, what what did I put in here? Yes, uh, very very dangerous. The alcohol blending solution that has all sorts of warnings on here. I didn't read it. You're not supposed to put it in a, a mister because very very dangerous. Uh, I did spritz, uh, spritz two times. I think I'll survive. <laughs> I will. But yes, guys, I won't do it in this way anymore. I'll use the normal alcohol. Also, as a precaution, when using the mister, I will um, in future wear a mask. You know, the ones that we have plenty of at home. Because at one point in time, we had to all wear them. Okay. So, um, I'm going to... Uh, take out some of these book pages yes and start experimenting yes exciting so I have a little piece of napkin here with some lovely flowers on here i think it is sort of important to have like a lighter color background yeah i think don't know yet uh this old book page with some lovely small flowers now i have to take into consideration that i have only this big tape or this bigger tape so cannot be a big big image i think i'm going to have a strippy over here this is a little bit shiny but it is some older paper oh are you going to do this yes i am because i have two of these books 
yeah and this is um actually flight manual paper very thin so i think it will work well some more of these semi-modern book pages but i think the older book pages will work best this is from a dictionary i have some from an old magazine i think this might look interesting with a big m and all the numbers some music another piece of um you know it's botanical whatever i think yeah i think it'll look lovely oh look at this yes and i think the older paper of course numbers will work best very intrigued i don't know page with the um, uh, poster stamps yeah and uh, a page from uh, one of my favorite lena to Fries books i just think some of this might look interesting yeah okay um and let's let's just start you know gluing some tape on um i'm going to start with the small one i'm just gonna have a strippy with apparently presidents this is these are american poster stamps yeah okay oh yeah where where to start where's the start <laughs> it's here I'm just gonna put it on. Be sure it doesn't have any wrinkles. Yeah. And then you sort of rub it well, especially over the, the image that you want to transfer. Not over here, you don't want to transfer your mat. No. Okay. Then we take it off, but it needs to have the paper on. Not all of the paper, just sort of the top layer. Does it work? Not really. Well, this doesn't transfer at all. Maybe I have the wrong tape. Oh, there it comes. Here it comes. Yes. See, you need the paper to come off. Like so. Okay. I'm going to cut this off immediately because this part is still very sticky. And also this part. Yes. Now, I'm just going to throw this bit here in my small bowl of water with a little bit of uh, detergent. Uh, liquid dishwashing. Whatever you call it. Yeah. Okay, let's take out another piece of paper. Love this. Are we going to do the big one? Yes, we are. Also want to have a little bit of text with it. Let's take out a bone folder. Oops, don't rip it. Does it work? Sort of does, but now it takes the whole piece of paper. <laughs> Don't take the whole piece of paper. Well, it's taking the whole piece of paper. Don't think that is the point of this experiment. Yeah, it just needs the sort of the top layer. Yeah, here it comes. It does take off the image. Yeah, there's a little bit left here, so it's not going to be perfect. Do not cut in your fingers, love. No, let's, let's just not. Okay, there you go, taking a bath. Just going to let them soak for a while. Yeah, let's do something else. Uh, oh yeah, the colored ones, this one. Shall we try it with the, the medical tape? Now my desk is wet, yes. There we go. Don't know if this will work because I have never seen anyone do this with medical tape. This might completely disappear, but you know, let's just see. Oh, it's ripping. Um, well, 
Where's the beginning? <laughs> oh, very smart of me to use medical tape, yes. I have medical tape because it's very, very thin and it sort of disappears on your on your page. Yes, it really does. The question is, will it take the images? No. But that could be the paper. No, it doesn't take any of the images. Let's just try um, this tape. It's either the tape or the page. It's like making washi tape. Yeah. Come off, come off. It sort of wanted to come off, but not really. No. I think it's the paper. It's the paper. So, no glossy paper, just old paper. Lucky for me, lots of old paper. I am trying. Oh, yes. See, it's the paper, guys. It's the paper. Now I need a new paper. You need old mats paper. Yes. See, you know, that worked like a charm. Yeah. Putting it in the bath. What else did we do? Oh yeah, a uh, napkin. Let's see if napkin works. Of course napkin works. Already took off all the other layers. I don't think this will work, no. I, I think when I'm going to rub everything off, I'm going to rub the whole thing off and uh, not just the white bits. But I could be mistaken. <laughs> I actually, I'm going to put it in like so because it's already a very thin layer. So there you go, there you go. Uh, I'm also really curious about this sort of flight manual. I don't know what it's called. It's from my husband. He studied to be a pilot. And I got all his papers. Oh, look, it's almost like tissue paper. Um, I'm just gonna put it here. What is this? A piece of the napkin. Well, this is what it is. I'm just going to cut it. And now my tape fell on the floor. Again, I'm just going to put this on here. Okay. Uh, one more piece. Oh no, I really want to try the magazine. what this one will do it does sort of take it off cool Yeah, guys, I'm going to do a couple more and then we're going to do the rubbing off. Also very exciting. <laughs> OK, we're going to rub stuff off. I did um, I did manage to do a one of the sort of semi gloss papers with um, um, sort of colored image. Yes, maybe maybe it'll work. I have a towel, uh, a tea towel <laughs> with me. Let's take out the first one because it's been in here the longest. So what you do, yes, you have the shiny side and then the side, with, the side with the paper on it and you just sort of rub your fingers over it. Oh, look, it's working. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, it is working. What? Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. I'm gonna dry off my, oh yes. I have now wet hands, sticky hands, what have you doesn't stick anymore and it can you see can you see yes it's so cool oh it's so cool 
Oh, I want to do more. What else did we do? Um, oh, the napkin. Let's see what the napkin does. The napkin dis sort of disappears. Yes. There's a v Oh, there's a very faint sort of image on here. No, napkin disappears. So, no napkin trip. But that's okay, because... Ah, let me throw it out. <laughs> because... You know, uh, you can do all the tricks with napkin. I did try this on a very old piece of um, paper with numbers. And this is the normal uh, tape, not the medical tape. Is No, this is the normal tape, not the medical tape. Now, this paper needs, I think, maybe a little bit more soaking. Then this one. This one was with the big celluloid tape. Oh, yes, it's working. I think because this tape is a little bit stickier, uh, that it takes a little bit longer to get everything off. It might not come off in one go. Ew. <laughs> oh, the things, guys, I do for you. This is not really enjoyable for me. <laughs> but I probably uh, will love the end result. I need to do this and this yes oh it's going to be so messy if you like messy this is your project but it's working though because i am taking off the paper it does leave a little bit of sort of residue on this tape because i think uh, the tape was very sticky to begin with I'm going to let it soak for a little while longer. What else did we do? What else did we do? Oh yeah, one of the Lena de Vries um, books. Needs more soaking. And then this one, I didn't really take off the first layer of paper. So I'm hoping... I'm just scraping it with my nails. Oh, that works. But... It's not a very clear image. So the sort of very thin tissue paper type. Um, yeah, it disappears. See, it sort of disappears. So that's too bad. I love the five manual paper. Oh gosh, I really need to wash my hands. Um, the magazine, the old magazine. Please work because I would love to use this. There was already a really thin layer on here. But I want a little bit more transparency, please. It is coming off, but I think it needs a little bit more time to soak. It's cool, though. More soaking time. Um, the medical tape. Uh, I used medical tape on this? Yes, this is the medical tape. With the numbers. Was it? Yes. Well, because there's, it's like a sort of a low-tech tape, uh, which means there's less glue on there than, well, the big one that I have. So, um, the paper really does come off more easily. Is that a word? More easily? Easier. Easier. Oh, yes. See? It is a little bit cloudy, but that's because the paper is cloudy. What's going on, love? Yes, I love you too. <laughs> Jackson needs some attention. This was the normal tape or the medical tape? I can't remember anymore. The medical tape. Oh, this one is going to be awesome. Jackson agrees. And there we go. Oh! So cute, right? Yes. Guys, what I'm going to do, because I I am not happy. <laughs> I'm going to rinse this out, take another let them take another bath, and then do a second round. I want them all to be like this. Yes! The results. I am happy with some of them, and some just didn't work out. Also, the one with the tissue papers, they don't work at all. The ones that I'm not really happy with are these ones. 
um a little bit more modern book page maybe it's the tape i don't know this is like the cellar tape the paper just doesn't really want to come off and it is partially see-through see you could use it but not really happy with it and then this is um with the medical tape also this paper just it doesn't really want to come off so you could use it sort of as a, a tape if you want to then this one was from very old book page uh, with sort of a brownish uh, background i wanted to remove the, pa the, the paper and in doing so i also removed the numbers on there so I cannot work with this one. The other ones I'm really happy with. The, the first one was the best though. Yeah. Also the tape is still a little bit sticky. So you could use this. Let me get a little bit a uh, piece of white paper out. So that you can uh, properly see. See? Yeah. You could use this. Yeah. You could even still tape it on. I wouldn't tape it on just white. On you know in a project somewhere. Um, I like this one. This is with the medical tape. Uh, it has a. Uh, it's sort of cloudy <laughs> yeah but i like it i like it you could put it on well let me first show you on um on white paper yes but if you do it on like paper with uh let's take out some book page with some writing in the background see it will show up so like this one also this one with the numbers again this is with the medical tape i think uh, I do prefer this with the um, normal uh, celluloid tape because it's much more clear. Oh, it does look lovely, doesn't it? Yes, I do like it. And this was with the from the vintage magazine. Really like it. There's a little bit of the sort of brown paper residue left, but I think it adds to the fact that it's vintage. So love this. Um, that this is probably my favorite with the book page i'm going to show you again on this white piece of paper yeah i like it it's cool right yeah and then this one from the elena de Vries book uh, i put the tape on it had a sort of a crease in it a fold but i really love the end, <laughs> the end result of it so um my sort of conclusion use a clear tape not a medical tape Use old book pages with um, sort of darker black and white images. And then you get those that I really, really like. Yeah. Okay. So uh, is the experiment failed? Not really. Not really. Uh, I need to do some more experimenting, uh, especially with uh, this tape and this tape. They, I prefer those. Now, let me show you um the prints that i did that i did because those are fantastic let me show you now i only uh printed black and white images on here not the the colored ones this was the first one i did this was very old uh sort of acetate that used to be stuck on here but it's so old that it sort of got loose i put just one dot uh, a glue dot here yeah uh why because it needs to be upside down in your printer and your printer will hold on to the paper bit and not to the acetate. Well, at least my printer does it and I think most of them won't. So if you're going to put on a piece of acetate just like this in your printer, I don't think it will work because the printer mechanism won't have any grip on the paper itself and it probably won't print. So yeah, I did this. I love them, sort of old advertisement pieces um i'm going to use this yes then i also had um paper that already had this strippy on here yes it does say uh print on the other side so put it in like so the the printer will grab this and pull it through yes and then and then you can remove it because this is just sort of sort of a sticker bit so underneath it will be um clear again so you can remove this or you can cut it off uh, let me show you because this is absolutely amazing these are just some prints i have on my computer look at those it is so fantastic now the problem with this paper is that this acetate is it has a sort of a, a rougher matte side that you can print on and then the glossy side i really i do prefer the glossy side 
<laughs> you do? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. But the problem is that um, if you print something on that has text on it, you will see it. Now, let me show you because um, I did two prints. And let's see. This is the one. Yes. Um, this is my freebie. It is printed on the sort of semi-matte uh, side, yes. And then all the letters are the right side up, yeah. But if you flip it over with the glossy side that I like way better, <laughs> for some reason, everything is sort of in, uh, in a mirror image, yeah. Now, um, what I did was with, on my computer, and I, can, I cannot really explain how I did this, with windows and then you can sort of mirror it so i mirrored every image yeah and then you get this result so i mirrored everything and that's only necessary when you do it with some with writing on it yeah because this is the glossy side and it was printed on this piece now if you do have acetate but don't have this with the strippies um put something on like this like um double-sided tape just put double-sided tape on leave the paper on lovies don't take the paper off um probably if you will remove it it will leave a little bit of residue so you will lose a bit of your print or or add to um a small glue dots in the corners i did over here see like so Love it, love it, love it, love it. Now, I hear you thinking, what are you going to do with them? Um, I'm going to do a very quick, small little project with these and with these. Yeah? Let me show you. I have a couple of ideas because this actually looks like sort of a, an old slide. And I have these. If you don't have these, maybe you have a die cut that does this. But I have a gazillion of those. So, I think I want to have this sort of in here. Make this into a slide. I need to cut it down though because yeah, it needs to be cut to size. Way too big. I'm probably gonna lose a little bit of the image, but let's just have a look. Okay, okay, there you go. There you go. Oh tada! Made my own slide. <laughs> I am actually really happy with this. I made my own slide, yes. I'm gonna show you on a white piece of paper hopefully you can see it i'm sorry guys the sun is out i had to close some 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 curtains but i think you can see yes uh made slides love this love this now i have these sort of well you know the real ones uh but you can do this with uh the, um, a die cut yeah love it love it love it love it so yay for slides then I have two pieces of cardstock, yes, and I have this piece, and I actually also want this to be see-through. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of, I think I'm going to use my die cut machine, but you can do this, you know, with a ruler and a knife, make sort of a window in both of them. So I'm going to die cut through both of these, make a sort of a window, and then glue this in the middle. I think it's going to be lovely. Yeah. Um, also going to do it with this acetate. Oh, isn't it wonderful? Love it, love it, love it. Yes. I have this very old, well, not a very old postcard. It's from 89. So it is vintage, guys. That is vintage. Um, I don't like this bit. So I think, I'm thinking about taking a bit out and have, making a window in here and have it as a pocket uh, in your journal. Yes. So I'm also going to take out sort of a, well, rectangle piece here, but you can also do any shape you want. Yeah? Okay. So I'm going to uh, put all of those through my die cut machine. And I'll be right back. Here's what I've made. I'm sorry for the for the glare, guys. Because, you know, <laughs> it's it's shiny material. Let's start, let's start with this one. Uh, yes, I made a slide. Yeah, it's in here. I'm going to sort of put it like so. Yeah, it's see-through. It's completely see-through. Yes, I'm going to put something white behind it. So you probably see it better. I think it's cool. Just put a label on. Yeah. Then this one is with the tape. I just made this card. Yes. I, I just glued it in between two pieces of cardstock. Put some stamping all around it. Yes. You could put um, like an eyelet in to make it into a dangle. 
I think it's really, really cute. Also make it into a pocket, side talk, or, you know, something, just something lovely. Speaking of pockets, I made this one. Yes, this is the tape. Yeah. I made a pocket, as I usually do, stamped a little bit, and then ripped, instead of taking out my die cut machine, just ripped it and uh, glued this on the inside. This is glued on the inside, guys. Yeah. I think it looks amazing. It's so cute. I love this one. And then for the big card. Yes. Well, this is actually... I'm going to do this. And you see the the design a lot better. This is actually going to be sort of a pocket into a, inside of a journal. Yeah. That you can put another card behind. I did decorate it with a little bit more of the labels. Oh, love it so much. Love it so much. Now, these are the printed ones. Yeah. And then the shiny side. This is the less shiny side. Also nice. Could, it could work. Could work. So yeah, transparent stuff and uh, and an experiment. I'm going to be uh, doing uh, more experimenting on both of these sort of techniques on on printing on on acetate and um, with the tapes and such. Let's just find out what paper works best, what tape works best and uh well maybe you guys have some suggestions that's it for today guys thank you for hanging out with me during this experiment i hope you liked it and i'll be back again tomorrow with another project until then bye